guys, if you follow me on Twitter, if you've seen it in Discord, you guys have seen this little guy. So the cool thing about this sticker is that it's weatherproof and water resistant. It's not completely waterproof, but it's water resistant. And it's oil proof because I'm an oily bitch. So we're gonna have a reprint and we have the occult one and I'm so excited. So today we are going to be interviewing Julie. She is a good friend of mine. Shot myself a little bit because her art is freaking amazing. We're going to make sure that she is seen on her thingamabob. Testing, one, two, three. Good to go. Julie, before you have that first spoon, before, 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 please introduce yourself. What do you do and what type of stream should you do? Hello, everyone. My name is Julie, aka Julie the Doodler. Ooh. I go by she hers and I am eating pasta. Also, what am I doing? Oh, uh, <laughs> I stream art, traditional and digital arts, and also play games on the side. That's kind of where I kind of explore my like art journey, kind of learn like different things and just like sharing stories with other people. And so that's kind of like a cool thing with like me. Yeah, you yeah. are really cool. Holy <laughs> I am a big, I don't know if I've, you know, spilled the tea yet, but I'm a big fan of your art, girly. Big, big fan. Oh my God. Your Billy Valo crossover. Wow. I love going to your stream and I love like, mostly because like you have such cool, like traditional aspects that I never like would explore. You have this really cool oh, pen that I'm like, what the f is that? And then you're painting with it. I'm like, what? How? <laughs> That doesn't work. <laughs> um, I'm definitely confused, but I do approve. I, I, you know, I'm here for the ride and I love it. If you were able to live at the age of 90 and retain either the mind or the body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? Wait, 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 okay. Well, I think I would choose my mind because I think my body over time is like deteriorating and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm just like, I wake up every day finding something new and I'm like, oh God, I don't know. I, I'd rather not go through that. I don't know, like, like it's, it doesn't have any attachment to me except for maybe like my flexible like fingers or whatnot. Wait, but I, wait, 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 wait. Can, can you do that? Is No. This or? That oh wait oh there we go next question <laughs> yeah wait, but... real... dude that's like straight up 90 degrees the more i draw or write the more it bends back like it'll fit my thumb will fit and it'll touch my thumb if i like write oh. more um and then you know as time over time when i don't write it'll go back the threshold doesn't go back baby i'm i'm shook it i never knew so were you always like double jointed or was it like from yeah. your drawing oh okay i've always double jointed i remember when i was little like i saw a picture of me like holding something and then my thumb was bent back <gasps> oh! and whatnot yeah i was like wow i'm <laughs> even now and then oh wait i have a wait so you don't know my middle school story then i told this on stream before but this will be for y'all okay <laughs> this was in sixth grade during recess me and my friend we were bored and so we we made a plan we were like okay so she was gonna push me down <laughs> like a hill or something right so i'll just say what happened according to our plan so she pushed me down like pushed me down and i fell and i'm like ah and I already prepared myself. I'm already like double jointed, but everyone around us was so scared. They were like, oh my God, <laughs> is everything okay? And I'm like, oh no. And then after a couple of minutes, I was like, okay, I don't want a teacher to come and like, you know, get like my friend in trouble. Your parents. So I was yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's <laughs> psych. <laughs> and so, yeah, that was pretty fun. I hope in your 90 years old age that your body can still do that and like, imagine scaring the nurse that's taking care of you. Oh, I was going to say the little <laughs> kid. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> like, you waddle to her <laughs> in like a gown. Yeah, no, there will be like this random black curtain and then my hand will just crawl like a little spider. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For what do you feel most uh, grateful in your life? I guess I'm grateful for like the support system that I have now. My intermediate family and friends. Because... Growing up, I had trouble keeping friends or like, mm. not that I need to keep them, but like, you know, like, it's just like maintaining having those mm -hmm. like, yeah, 
friendships because it seemed like every year not that it should be a pattern but it's just it just happened to be like that where there's always something going on and i had to like cut that friendship out because it wasn't yeah like healthy for me or them and so like the friends that i have now are very like supportive of me and like i feel like we can communicate which mm-hmm. i appreciate and like that i know that if there's ever like a problem or like anything like concerns um that we would be able to talk it out and yeah i i just am grateful for that and that they've been su- very supportive of like me kind of not going the conventional route of like finishing college and whatnot and trying to find my own path they've been very like supportive of that so i'm very um grateful for like the friends i have now i think that's really beautiful yeah. when i was watching like movies or my friends around me a lot of them were like childhood friends and i flew around quite a bit so i was always envious of like how people grew up with a support system and i was like wow <laughs> It must be nice. <laughs> um, and I was kind of like in the same page of like friends c- kind of came and go. Sometimes I had to like cut it off, even though like we tried to make it work. I'm really big on like communication as if we are in a romantic relationship. I feel like I've had this conversation with some friends that they're like, oh, this is just how my friends are. Like, are. And I'm like, what if it makes you uncomfortable? Do you just take that or because I'm not taking it. <laughs> um, oh, no. And then when you confront them, they're like, why are you criticizing me? Why are you nagging me? And stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Or um, it's like, okay, then I'll work on that. And then it just kind of falters one way or the other. And so at one point I got really like tired of like trying to extend that hand to other people mm-hmm. and creating from scratch, creating a support system was really interesting. <laughs> because um, when you have friends that are not just willing to talk to you but confront you and be like what you're doing is not right at all what the and then they'll like sit down and talk to you and like because they love you right i felt very liberated because of that it's a very difficult conversation to have i i feel really bad at that age i was really bad with rejection and i felt that any comments that was sent towards me was criticizing that I'm a failure. And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not. Um, but when my friend sat me down and said, okay, what's happening right now is X, Y, Z. What you're trying to do is ABC. There's there's a gap and we need to like try to understand that. Mm-hmm. And although tears were like really shed, um, I'm really grateful for it. I'm really, really grateful for it. Um, a support system because uh, i think it was like a key question of like would you rather be low income or like rich and unhappy mm-hmm. if i have my friends i know i'm gonna be okay you know yeah and, no i feel that mm, i feel like there's like monetary rich and then like socially rich and i feel like um, when i'm with my friends i feel very enriched to be in their presence so i'm like mm-hmm. thanks for being here team uh. That's how I feel. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know how your resume is, but thank you. <laughs> absolutely, uh, absolutely. What is the most difficult question someone has asked you? What are you doing? Ooh. Or what do you want to do in life? <laughs> or like, I don't know. People always had to like figure it out, I feel like. And I I had a vague idea of what I wanted to do. I mean, not really. Like, most of my life, I did not know what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, medical field? Yeah, sure. Sounds interesting. I like learning. (laughs) It's just very vague. Oh, I feel that. Yeah. But, like, I just, like, how would I know, like, if I don't try it? But then, like, you know, there's so much time. There's only so little time. And, like, Mm -hmm. how do you get into those things? You know, like, trying out, like, all these different things to know. Or, like, I think another question that I have a hard time answering is like school like oh what are you majoring in too because i was unsure I've, I've i was in college for a while not knowing what to do it's questions like those that makes the future feel so harrowing mm-hmm. to the point of like i don't even know who i am yet and now you're asking me for a future i don't know if i can i feel like for a great majority of your early 20s you're following the path that was echoed to you 
so mm-hmm. much so that it like is said in your voice and you keep saying like oh this is what i want to do but then if like if you moved away from them and now you're the one doing all of the hard work you're dealing the reality or the consequences to uphold that dream and you're thinking like is this even my dream is this worth all these tears <laughs> crying in the library with your little like study guide you're like is this is this worth it <laughs> that was me girly and that shit was rough let me tell you thank you so much for taking time out of your day i don't know if you had stream today but thank you if you have to cancel that i really do apologize for disturbing your stream but thank you for being part of mine